What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Erica and I like to do a lot of different reviews, activewear, supplements, anything fitness related, all of that good stuff. Today I'm very excited because I will finally be reviewing Mimi Kini's. If you haven't heard of that brand before, it is a body inclusive brand created by Madeline Giorgetta. And I've actually had these pieces for a couple months now and I'm finally getting around to reviewing for you guys. So without further ado, if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, keep watching. <music> about this review because this is an activewear line that is ethically made they support women by donating sorry I had to grab my computer because I want to make sure I say everything correctly about this brand so Mimi Kini is an Aussie grown swimwear label and activewear label founded by partners and designers Sid Patini and Madeline Giorgetta on Instagram Backgrounds in fashion design and fine arts, Madeline and Sid have sought to create a swimwear and activewear label that is for every woman. They are sponsors of the Global Women's Project and 5% of all of their profits go directly to this organization. Committed to limiting their environmental impact and all of their products are made using recycled materials which is always great to hear. They're mailed to you in a custom biodegradable packaging, which I will show you guys when I get more into the details. That was one big thing that stood out to me when I found Madeline's brand. I really loved the fact that she was giving back. I loved that her models and the people she was featuring on their page and their website are literally women of all different shapes and sizes, which makes me feel so happy to support this brand. I think that the words body diversity or body inclusivity have really get tossed around within the activewear space and there's not a lot to back up certain brands claims of that but I genuinely believe that this brand wants to make a difference and wants to make women feel included. I hope that gives you a little background into why I decided to try this brand and support this brand. I'm not affiliated with them at all. This is a genuinely honest review so let's get right into it. So let's start with what I'm wearing right now. This is going to be the essential top and the essential shorts. This is the most recent activewear launch, I believe, and they definitely still have product on the website, so I will link everything down below. The top is 59 USD. The bottoms are 59 USD. I also have this in their kind of maroon leopard print set. And I have the bottoms in a size small and the top in a size medium. I think these fit me like an absolute dream. I think they're so flattering. The fabric is so soft. I, I literally do not own anything like this. It's not like an Align. It's almost a little more cottony than an Align. It is a brush fabric, so it just feels really high quality. So I'm going to show you up close what this kind of looks like on. So let's talk about the essential top first. Like I said, I'm wearing a size medium and I would not change a thing. I think it fits me absolutely perfectly. The seam here hits right under my chest and really like provide some support. This bra did come with pads. I took them out. I'm just not a big pad gal, but I like it without pads. It gives you a nice scoop neck here and the back is just so cute. And you get that coverage, but also a little bit of your back peeking out. The branding is kind of heat sealed right here. And it just looks really simple and cute. I love that little detailing, but I really like how this is almost like a hybrid between a short sports bra and a long line sports bra. I definitely don't think I would feel uncomfortable wearing this to the gym on its own as a set. Sometimes sports bras are too, too short and then also give some cleavage, which I wouldn't, I just don't feel comfortable wearing at the gym, but this one I definitely do. I would say, it's a mid, a good mid support. I'm not feeling super pressed, but I do feel supported and secure in this without feeling like it's tight. Like I can't really 
the best way I can describe this is the kind of feel that you have when you're wearing aligns where it feels like a second skin on you. It doesn't dig in at all. It's super stretchy and it just sits on you so nicely, but it definitely has a different feel. It's a little bit more cottony, but I really like how it feels because it still has like a performance aspect to it. So this is made from 84% recycled polyester and 16% spandex. It's also gonna be that 84% recycled polyester with spandex. Now to get my sizing, I was really going back and forth about what sizes to order because they don't offer free returns and I really wanted to make sure I got it right. I used the size chart for these and it ended up working out perfectly fine. They do have a front seam, which I know some people absolutely hate, but I think that the way that this stitching is done, it's almost not that noticeable. I really love the thick waistband in the front. I feel like it secures me where I feel I need the most support and compression. So it gives me that full coverage. You, let me see what the back looks like. There isn't going to be any like glute seam or anything, but I honestly don't find them unflattering by any means. I just, I really, really love these sets. And what I do want to say about this particular one, I know a lot of you guys love the Balance Athletica King Cheetah Dusk color. And this reminds me so much of it that if you were not able to get your hands on those leggings, this is a great option for you, like this little cute set here. This also, I think, would match like the Kodiak color from Balance if you have those leggings. The one downside is this or these sets, the essentials, they do not come in a legging form. So they only have shorts right now, but honestly, they're still in stock on their website. I would grab it because they're the perfect sets for summer. They're just so freaking cute. I love them. So I know I've talked about Mimi Kimi's, actually the activewear line from it because they started as a swimmer line. It's called Mimi Move. So that is why the branding says move. I just thought I would clarify. So <clears throat> that is the essentials. I cannot recommend these enough. There's three colorways. There is this dusk color. There is a blue shade of this exact print, and then there's this one, and this one also reminds me a lot of the Balance Leopard print, but I really like it in this teal, and the teal is like just so unique and flattering. I just love it. Cannot recommend these enough. I believe you can get 10% off if you sign up for a newsletter. There are also Mimi Kimi's ambassadors I've seen that I think they offer a 15% off discount with their code. I'm not affiliated with them, but I just wanted to share that if you wanted to get a little discount. Okay guys, I apologize if the lighting looks different or if I look different. I finished filming everything and realized that the whole second half of my video did not save the other day. So I am finishing the video again. I hate when that happens, but gotta do what you gotta do. So this is the dusk like maroon color of the essentials top and shorts on me. It fits the exact same as the teal set. I wanted to wear this while I talk about the other set that I got. So next up, I want to talk about the move shorts and the move top. Now this top is going to be like a long line crop top. It's longer than this. And these shorts are going to fit differently than the essential shorts. So just a little spoiler alert before I show you these on me. I just did not love these as much as I like the essential short. And I think the reason for that is they're definitely some more seams on the back and i just felt that the cut of these dug in a little bit more and i think that's because they have like thicker seams on the back and on the sides whereas these ones are just pretty much seamless across the board um, the seams that they do have here in the front and on the back just kind of lay very flat where these ones kind of like dig in a little bit but this move top is one of my favorite tops i have in my wardrobe I just love where it hits you 
on your waist and it's so soft. I don't usually wear a bra with this. I can wear it to lift or I've done Peloton in it without wearing a bra and it's compressive enough where you feel secure. Um, so I love, love, love this top. I just think it's super flattering. It looks really good with a variety of different leggings that I have as just a simple gray top. In terms of the feel, these are gonna feel similar to the essential top and shorts, but I think they're almost a touch softer or a little more slick. I think the fabric, they're both made of the same material as these, but they do have a little bit of a different feel. I think that's due to the heathering of the fabric, but I love this top, highly recommend it. This is also gonna be $59 and the shorts are $59. I have the shorts in a small and the top in a medium. So I actually think if you were to try these shorts, you should size up. I should have gotten a medium in these. I think they're just a little too tight and they don't feel as comfortable as these smalls. But there is also a little pocket detailing here in the back. It's very shallow, so I think you could put like a key card or your keys in it. It would not fit a cell phone. Um, but that is the Move shorts. Now I'm going to try them on for you guys. Okay, so with these, I think my biggest problem is I think that the seam here really accentuates the camel toe. I know I've said it before, I don't personally mind a front seam if it's kind of not noticeable, and I feel like this one kind of draws attention to this area because it's a thicker seam. Also, it being a lighter color, I just feel like I can just notice it more. And maybe I would like these more in like a black or a darker color, the light pink, just really kind of accentuates the camel toe, but it is cute together. Um, let's talk about the top though, because the top, this is seriously one of my favorite tops. I know I just said that, but it really, really is because this gives you the full compression that like a sports bra would. Like this is one of the most compressive like Instagram brands tops that I actually own and I just love it. It's so flattering you have the seams here that kind of just accentuates your waist it hits you at the perfect spot on your waist that leggings go up to here it just i love this top i really want to get more colors of it next time they have a sale because they have it in black i think that's not sold out i think they have a few colors that aren't sold out but i just really really love this top and everything is so freaking soft so that is a quick overview on the move shorts and the move top and the essential top and the essential shorts so picked up during the sale one of their bikinis because this is how they really started as a swimwear brand a brand that was really trying to have diversity make swimsuits that were comfortable for all the body types um, so i knew i wanted to pick up a swimsuit i didn't know which one a lot of them are pretty cheeky so i ended up going with the clara high-waisted briefs belted waist high-waisted briefs and i forget what this top is called it's still on the site though i'll link it below um but this is kind of like a little vintage retro vibe that i really liked um one thing i know it's always so hard to find what your sizing is going to be on a certain website. That's kind of why I wanted to do this review and try on just so you guys can see how things look on me and kind of adjust like what you think your sizing would be because I spent so long on the site trying to figure out my sizes mainly because the sale stuff, which these were, this was on sale, was final sale, I'm pretty sure. So I wasn't gonna be able to return it. And I knew that they were kind of still a small enough brand that I probably wouldn't be able to resell stuff. So I was like just trying to spend so much time on figuring out what my sizes were. So for the bottoms, I got a size medium and the top, I got a size small. And that was just after using their sizing chart. Um, I will say, I'll try this on for you just so you can see. The mediums are fine for me for the bottoms. Um, they did come with a belt and I absolutely hated the belts on these because it almost, I'll show you when they're on, but it kind of like, it hit me right here and really accentuated this area of me. So once I took the belts off, I really like them. They do still have the belt loops on it though, which I'm kind of like, ugh, I wish I could just 
cut them off or something because I'm not gonna wear it with a belt. And then for the top, the small is definitely smaller than I thought it would be. So I should have gotten a medium in this. I don't remember if they even had a medium. I might've just got the small because that's what they had in stock, but it's a little booby. So let me try this on for you. I'll let you know what I think. Okay, well, first things first, I severely apologize for being this pale in a swimsuit in front of you because I just looked in the mirror and oh my God, I'm so pale. Um, but, okay, let's talk about this. So after looking in the mirror again, this definitely fits me. I feel secure, but I would have liked a little more coverage here. I feel like I'm like spilling out on the side here and underneath. Like I wish that I had just a touch more coverage. It does fit, it does feel secure and comfortable. The small works, I think I also would have preferred a medium. Like I'll still wear this, no problem. It's not like too much. Um, as for the bottoms, they do come down below my belly button here. So they're not like super high-waisted where your belly button won't show. Um, I like these, the seams that are right here. They kind of flatter the bottom half and make you kind of like look just a little slimmer. Um, they're pretty cheeky, even though these are one of their higher coverage ones. They come up about like halfway on my glutes. Um, like I said, I didn't like the belt on these because the belt just looked like it was completely squeezing me because it's hitting me at just a wide part of my hips. So I took the belt off and I wish I could take these belt loops off because I just I'm not gonna wear it with it. But overall, I like the style of this swimsuit. It's very like retro, vintage, 1950s vibes it gives me. Um, I, I have worn this around my family. I felt completely comfortable. I just think it's really cute. I like the little dots. Um, I would definitely try another swimsuit from them now that I know my sizing. So I would say I'm a medium in the top and medium in the bottom for swimsuits, particularly this one, but I think that's what I would go with if I order another swimsuit from them. I do want to talk really quickly about the packaging, which is so freaking cute. So I kept the packaging so I could show you guys because I just remember loving it so much. So this is the little reusable packaging that the swimsuits came in, the top and the bottom. You are truly beautiful, which is just so cute. I love these. I was like, I'm keeping these for whatever. <laughs> um, and then the activewear came in these really cute reusable bags also that had like a drawing on it. And yeah, I just thought these were really cute and unique and I love that. So I'm going to change back into my workout outfit so I can give you guys my final thoughts and feedback about Mimi Kinis and Mimi Moves. Okay guys, let's go over everything. Just start with the swim because that's just what I had on. Both of these were on sale for me, $37, $37 for a nice quality swimsuit, which this definitely is. It has that soft, luxurious feel to it that you would expect from a typical $60 and $60 top and bottom. Um, so getting it on sale, I would say is worth it. For me, I would not have bought this full price because of the belt loop situation. I just would not think it would be worth it to take the belt off and then have these loops on it. I would definitely try another swimsuit from them in the future. I just probably would, wouldn't have paid full price for this one in particular, but they have so many cute ones and they have so many different body types on their website. So go check them out and see if there's any bikinis that kind of fit what you would like and I would I would recommend trying it the clasps and everything feel high quality um, and they do have a lot of sales sometimes so always keep your eyes peeled for that so I like this swimsuit I wouldn't have paid full price for it but I'm definitely willing to try other swimsuits from them move shorts and the move top I would probably pass on these shorts um, or if you get them size up, I should have got these in a size medium. And as for the tank, this is my number one recommendation from Mimi Kini. Because they come in solid colors, you can mix and match them with leggings that you already have. But this one is just such a staple. They have black on the site. They have a really pretty like maroon or like peachy pink color that's just 
really cute. So highly recommend this. I think it's true to size. Um, I have a size medium in it. And now we'll talk about the essentials. Obviously we have the essential set. This would be my number two pick. Both of them tied equally because I think this set is so cute, especially for summer. I just would only put the other tank above these just because it's a solid color and you'll probably get more versatility out of it. Whereas these, I feel like you have to wear them together. Like I probably wouldn't separate them. So that is my final thoughts. I love that this brand is size inclusive. They go from an extra small to a 6XL, which is very rare to find with any activewear brands. I love that they are doing their part to help save the environment. I love that they're working with women and donating their profits, 5% of their profits back to women's organizations. I also think that their quality actually matches the price point which I found that sometimes that just doesn't line up with Instagram brands, but I truly believe that they put so much time, thought, energy into creating this brand and making sure it's absolutely perfect before launching it to people. I also really like that they are not launch based. So they'll come out with new products and new collections where you might want to be on the website to order it right away, but like you also don't have to. These launched so long ago and I was able to get them you know, months, a year after they launched. I've been eyeing this website forever and I finally pulled the trigger, but like they don't sell out instantly of things. It's just kind of over time. So they stock their website and things gradually sell out as people buy them, but it's not like you have to bum rush to a website and then buy things and panic and all of that stuff. So I highly recommend checking them out if you've never heard of them. Um, like I said earlier, they usually will offer a 10% off coupon if you sign up for like their newsletter they also have ambassadors if you kind of scroll on their page and like their tag photos you can usually find someone they have ambassadors that have i think 15 or 20 percent off codes but i wanted to do this review for you guys because a lot of you have been asking me about this brand after i posted about them the other day so i am going to wear this set for my workout today because it's so comfy so cute and that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this little try on and review it's been forever since i filled one i'm so sorry i've been like trying to be better about not buying as much activewear and just really going through my closet and like cleaning stuff out because i've just accumulated so much stuff and i'm trying to be better about what i have and not having as much stuff um but if you like this video make sure to subscribe down below give it a thumbs up Leave me a comment and let me know what brands you guys want me to try out next and I will see you guys in my next video.